In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to pause a video, insert a freeze frame, and then label some of the objects in that freeze frame before you continue with the video. This comes as a response from a query we saw at the CyberLink forum, so I'd like to show you how to do that simple process. Let me show you a simple clip of the end result, and then we'll show you the technique. We're going to start out with this video clip and drag it to track number one. It's an aerial shot that we see of part of downtown Dallas. Now let's assume we're so far along in the video and we want to mark a certain building. So we're going to put a label on it. I move my time indicator to the frame uh, where I want the freeze to begin. And let's assume we're going to work on this building here for fun. And so we need to create a freeze frame. The simple way to do that is right click on the video, choose the edit video from the pop-up menu, and from the sub-menu just choose freeze frame. It will create a snapshot of that frame and it will insert it in my project. Now if I click on that snapshot, I can see how long it is when I hover my mouse. Mine's 10 seconds long. That's too long for me. If I want to shorten it, I click on the clock above the timeline and it tells me the duration. I'll change that to, let's say, four seconds and click on OK. It will immediately shrink it and it will move the video on the other side to match. So when we play what we've done so far, we have the moving shot of the city of Dallas and it freezes for four seconds and then it, it continues as normal. Now we want to add a label for that building. So what I'll do is I'll move to my clip and we'll take a copy of a, of a title that we'll take from our title room. I'll take the My Title. I'll drag it and drop it right below on track number two. And then I'll change the duration uh, to match the duration of my freeze. So now I have the My Title on here. We're going to double click to get into it to edit it. And in the Title Designer, we'll change this. We, let's call this the uh, Smith building and we'll change the size of it. We'll shrink it down a little bit and we'll move it over here put our label up here. Now if you want to be a little fancier we can add a few other things. I'll click on OK and we're going to take in this case an arrow I'm going to go back into my media room. Now, if you don't have any arrows in your PIP options, you can just find a pretty simple one from the internet. I'll take this one and I'll drag this down and drop this in a higher number track. And I'll shorten it to fit. And then we will resize the arrow by dragging one of the four corners of the handle. And we can move it over and then we can rotate that. If I click on the very top circle just above it, I have the double arrows that spin and I can rotate that so it points the way I want. And then I can move the arrow again. And now it's pointing to the building. And so when I play, here's what I see. It freezes and then it tells me this is the Smith building and we can change the size and shape of the arrow if we want to. Now if you have the creators pack as an addition in PowerDirector, uh, you can also go to the PIP room and go to the tutorial creation subdivision and you have a whole bunch of arrows that you can use instead of this one. But if you haven't purchased this, it's easier simply to get one really quick off the internet and use that instead. Now let's assume you want to be a little fancier yet. Now let's assume we want to animate the arrow. I can double click on it and then I can move into my keyframes for the arrow. I can start at the beginning of the project and set a position marker 
and we'll move the arrow maybe back to here to start with. And then we'll go in, let's say, uh, about a second, about 30 frames. And at this point, we'll set another keyframe for position, only once we have it set, we'll move it, and we'll move it in this direction. And so that's a simple way to animate uh, the arrow. So I can take that and I can adjust it like that. So it's not too difficult to create this effect in CyberLink PowerDirector.